It's walk to school week, and this is one of thousands of schools embracing the idea. But how many are also encouraging their pupils to arrive dressed in rubbish? This is St John's Catholic Primary in Rotherhithe, where staff and pupils are always asked to go that extra mile to help the environment. I recycled out bags to make a skirt and an old shirt to make another shirt. You don't have to throw that in the bin, you can make other things out of that. The children obviously are involved with their parents talking about how they're going to make the costume, therefore the parents get involved. And also the local community will have seen us walking in this morning and thought, okay, St John's School, they're at it again, showing off their, their green side. We made this out of all my birthday cards. Do you know why you're doing this? Why you're recycling? Because it's helping the environment. Yeah, I really do enjoy making things with Ben, especially when it is to do with recycling. We collect all the time, we're always collecting things in. Would you have done this without the school's initiative? No. Two years ago, St John's decided to organise an Environment Week. Pupils were so enthusiastic that every week became Green Week. It's a serious commitment and a lot of fun. This is a kind of celebratory way of them actually showing their creativity and reusing and recycling all those messages that we're continually focusing on. Outside, underneath the flight path of every London airport, a walkway has become a fruit and vegetable garden. Every pupil is given the chance to plant, tend and eventually eat the crops. It's lots of fun and it's more fresh than getting them from the supermarket. It's more important to grow food in an inner city school because a lot of the children don't have gardens. It's just the excitement of when they pull up the carrots and they stand there holding them by the roots. It's something that is not about directly teaching them, it's their experiences that are really important. If we plant them, it's better, so we don't need to drive miles and miles just to buy strawberries, tomatoes and our potatoes. It's given quite a lot of them a responsibility and, you know, they have their monitors every week to water the plants and watch them grow really. It also helps them understand the need to protect the environment as well and we've been learning about um, habitats. The environment is embedded into the curriculum by allocating every year a green theme such as climate change, renewable energy and conservation. For year two it's the three R's, recycle, reuse and reduce. I've made pom-poms out of a plastic bag. I made a bookmark out of cardboard sweet wrappers and string. I've made a pencil put of old tin cans. I made a flower pot holders out of um, carton milk bottles. And they've learned not to throw everything away and, and to try and make something with it because they know a lot about recycling but we wanted to focus on how they could reuse materials. The work they've done is going to form part of a whole school display and they're encouraging the other classes to make things as well and add to the display and they're telling the other children what they can use. Why is it important to recycle? So you don't make the, the world um, messy. Pupils take it in turns to be eco-monitors to switch off lights and check the recycling bins. Please can we have your tea bags? Compost monitors also ensure nothing goes to waste. The pupils themselves decided their commitment to the environment should be voiced in verse. Put your rubbish and waste in the bin. Don't forget the blue box. Put your paper in. In our school we recycle, reduce and think. Reuse your plastic bottles when you finish your drink. The green card has been written by pupils and it's up in every classroom wall. Save energy, switch off the lights. Turn off the chaps, it'll be just right. Try to reduce, drive into school. Walk or cycle, that is cool. Our green education is for our future. All together, let's go greener! We are equal school and we can actually prove that we are. Is that aeroplane saving the environment? No. Because there is a CO2 in that. Do you wish there weren't any aeroplanes in the sky? It all goes to show the next generation can learn to save the environment, no matter how much the present one attempts to ruin it. The children are growing up in this climate of we've got to look after the environment, so that's got to help because they're our future adults, and that's hopefully the way that they'll bring up their children when they have children.